Morning. Welcome to Mr. Crampton's excellent maths lessons that are online and videos and tell you stuff all about maths. Catchy title, right? Excellent, nice catchy title. Here is your favourite thing ever. It's long division. Uh, no, don't go, oh. Well, it might be a little boring, but actually is really useful. So listen carefully. It isn't that hard. It's really hard, but it's not that hard. It's a little bit hard. Oh, it's quite hard. Right, so, uh, if you're ever facing long division problems, i.e. you are trying to divide by a two-digit number that is quite a large two-digit number, one of the problems that we have is the me this method, this short division method, can sometimes get a little bit confusing, a bit complicated. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you the expanded method for long division, okay? This is an expanded method and my personal favorite. Okay, so let's get started. So here we have 143.28. There is a decimal point right there. Hopefully you can see that. So 100, four tens, three ones, two tenths, eight hundredths here. And we're going to see how many groups of 24 fit into that. So 143.28 is your dividend. 24 is your divisor here. And we're searching for the quotient, which goes up there. This method that some people, there's all sorts of names for it. Lots of people go on about this being a bus stop. Can't see any buses myself. What it actually is, is a multiplication array, because that times that, so 24 down this side, whatever our quotient is along that side, would give you 143 in here. So essentially it's a multiplication array. Anyway, let's get started. So the first thing I do when tackling long division is help myself out a little bit by just thinking about our divisor. I'm making some notes to help me. So the first thing I'm going to do is write down here what, down here somewhere, 24 times 10 is, and that equals 240. I also then know what 24 times 5 is, because it'd be half of that, which would be 120. That makes sense, 5 times 20 is 100, 5 times 4 is 20, so 120. Those little facts will help you as you go through this X expanded, expanded division method. Right. How many 24s, oh hang on, use a different colour pen. Let's go uh, blue, green or purple. No, 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 not, no, 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 blue. Right. How many 24s go into one? Yeah, none. How many 24s go into 14? That's right, none. So already you can see the difficulty that we have straight away is that we are now trying to find out how many 24s there are in 143. And this is where this helps. Because if you look, 24 times 5 is 120. So 5 would be 120. 6 would be 24 more, which would be 144, which is too many because we've got 143. So it must be 5. Okay. Now this is the long division method. This is the expanded method. Ah, um, so why am I doing that? Here, 143, what we do now is we go 5, Remember, it's like a multiplication array. 5 times 24, and whatever that equals, we write it underneath. Okay? Make sure you line everything up in the right columns. That's what it is, isn't it? Yeah? So 5 times 24 is 120. All my place value is lined up properly. There's a decimal point here as well. Let's chuck that in. Right. Now what I do is I draw a line across here. I've essentially created myself within this method, some column subtraction. That will give me the remainder. So, um, where are we? Here we are, three, take away zero. 
Is the bottom number bigger? No. So three take away zero. Okay, let's keep doing it in blue. Three. Four take away two. Right, now that makes sense, doesn't it? Because we were only a little way off when we found out that five times 24 is 120. So it's having 23 left, it's not quite one group of uh, 24. Okay, now there are, there's a couple of things you could do next. Um, we found out our remainder. This is what I do. Um, different color pen. Don't need blue anymore. This is what I do. Green or purple? No, purple. So, I draw an arrow and I bring the next digit down. Okay. And then we go through the same process again to find out what digit goes in the tenths column of our quotient. That's the number on the top. So, uh, let's have a look. 232. Apparently 24 is going to 232. Oh, that's a bit complicated. Well, oh look, this little thing on the side. Okay, 24 times 10 is 240, which is not that many. So if we take 24 off that, that would be uh, 236 times 216. So that must be nine because it's one less, uh, one group of 24 less than 240. So we can put a nine in here. Okay, and then we do nine times 24. Well, we've already worked that out because we did that a second ago in our thinking. So take away 24 from that answer, take away the four would be 246. No, it wouldn't. I added six. Why did I do that? Not enough coffee. Right, anyway, 240, take away 24, 236, take away another 20 would be 216. So it goes right, 216 here. Make sure you get the place value in the right place, okay? It all lines up neatly, okay? Get my pen. Draw a nice straight line with a ruler. And then do some column subtraction to find out your remainder. Two take away six we can't do, so we need to exchange. Two take away six, two take away one is one, two take away two is zero. So we have a remainder there of 16. Let's check. These numbers, does that seem right? 32, 16, that seems right so far. Okay, last color. We're now on the last column. So we draw an arrow, bring the eight down to here, put the eight in there. And then again, we're now trying to work out uh, how many 24s there are in 168. This is where those notes that you made at the beginning will help you. So let's look at 24 times five is 120, it's not enough. Well, 168, is 48 more than 120. So let's try 24 times six, add 24 to 120. That would be 144. So that's six times 24. That's not enough. Let's add another lot of 24. 144, add 24. 168, ah, it fits exactly no remainder. Excellent, there's no remainder. We can finish it here by saying 168 divided by 24 equals seven. And as there's no remainder, we are done. So we started with 143.28 divided by 24. And our answer is 5.97. And if we just check and we look at all that, let's go back and see if that works. So five times 24 as an approximation is around about 120. There's almost another set of 24, which would make it 144. And we're nearly at 144, but it's a decimal one. 
and then four times seven is 28. There are patterns there, it all links together. It is correct. Big tick, uh, long multiplication. No, it's not, it's long division. Long division, the expanded method, done. If there is a remainder still, um, what you need to keep doing, as we've done before, is add a zero here and bring that down. Okay, so if you keep going, you've still got a remainder, you can keep going, you can extend this multiplication array, draw that line, put a zero there, bring that down and carry on until you don't have a remainder. But that is the expanded method for long division. Sorted. Bye.